What's up y'all, Bricks from Bricks Fitness here and today I'm gonna to give you 10 tips on how to get rid of man boobs. Can you please leave the video a thumbs up? It helps grow the channel. I appreciate all the support. Firstly, there's a difference between someone just being overweight and having just regular fat boy man boobs and then there's a condition known as gynecomastia. Now, this is a little bit different. Diet and exercise cannot correct gynecomastia. There's medication and there's surgery to kind of fix that. The number one way to get rid of man boobs is to simply lose body fat because most of the time the man boob shape is just caused by the fact that you have excess body fat in your chest area so if you're in a caloric deficit i just wanted to get this one out the way because it's not going to be on the list it's super obvious if you're in a caloric deficit and you are exercising regularly the shape of your chest will change as you start losing body fat you cannot spot reduce body fat in any area but what you can do is spot train to build muscle. And as you condition your muscle, as you build muscle, it, it does change the shape of your body. The first thing you wanna focus on is building the chest muscle. My first tip to getting rid of man boobs is when you're working your chest, make sure that you're doing what they call activation, right? What this does is, most of the time when we're working chest, we're doing bench press, we're doing these compound movements, and you wanna make sure that your chest is actually doing most of the work. So by activating the chest with chest activation, uh, this is one where, this is an isometric move where you're kinda just squeezing. You put your arm up on the wall or against any kind of pole that's in the gym, and you just squeeze the chest. You, you, you're feeling some activation and you're kind of holding it. I would do about three rounds of about 20 to 30 seconds each and you're just squeezing. You're using your mind to squeeze the muscle. So this next activation move is called the Sven press. Sven, it's hard to say that. S-V-E-N. So you're pushing against the, uh, whatever. You can do this with your hands. You can do it with small, uh, small weights. You're pushing against it and you're squeezing the, the chest. You're mimicking a pressing motion. And you wanna squeeze. So this is another uh, movement that focuses on isometrically activating the muscle. And this helps, like I said, to get the muscles working. So, so when you do do your chest press or you do your uh, push-ups, the pecs are active and they're ready to fire up. So this helps a lot. Tip number two, make sure that you're doing enough volume. So if your chest is one of your problem areas, you wanna make sure that your training program focuses enough on your chest, and that means that you're getting enough volume in. I would suggest training chest twice a week, getting anywhere from 16 to 24 sets, maybe even more per week, to make sure that you're getting enough work in. Tip number three, when you're working your chest muscle, make sure you're squeezing and you're using your mind to create more tension. And if you're just going through the motion and you're not taking your time, doing the motion slowly, squeezing the muscle that you're working at the end of the lift, then you're probably not getting much gains out of those reps. So you wanna make sure you control the weight slowly, you squeeze the muscle at the top of the lift, activate it, and then retract slowly on the eccentric portion which is the downward motion so just make sure you're taking your time and you're using your mind to create more tension and that activates more of the muscle which in turn helps you build more muscle tip number four develop muscle contraction awareness now what I mean by this is you want to feel your body you want to be aware if you're actually feeling the burn in this in the place where you're where you're targeting so you can try different hand positions you can try you know different pressing maneuvers you can try different tempos you need to try different things to figure out how to effectively activate the muscle best for your body everyone's body is different so what works for me may not work for you so you may want to try different positions and uh and see what activates the muscle best for you 
Tip number five, do more dumbbell pressing than you do barbell pressing. Now, dumbbell pressing actually has a lot of advantages. There's more range of motion with the press and you can't cheat by having the bar bounce off your chest. Dumbbells are one of the most dynamic, effective training tools there is. So you'll definitely see way more results by doing your pressing motions with a dumbbell versus doing them with a barbell. Tip number six, lift your legs off the ground when you're doing your dumbbell press. What this does is it requires your body to recruit more muscles in the chest area to actually execute the lift. So when, you're, when your legs are planted on the ground, you're generating power all through your body, starting from your legs. So what happens is when you lift your legs off the ground, all that work is now on your chest. It kind of isolates the chest muscles a little more effectively in my opinion. Tip number seven. Now this may sound a little strange to people who don't understand how the body works, but to build a better chest, you should start with building a strong back. Now your back and your chest work inversely. They kind of work together. So if you have a strong back, this gives you a better foundation to build your chest on it's without getting too scientific. So the stronger your back is, the more effectively you'll be able to build your chest. Tip number eight, switch things up. I know me, I used to think oh, all I had to do was do bench press, bench press, ben bench press in order to build a better chest. but. That's not effective in my opinion. Switch things up, add cables, add dumbbells, add resistance bands. Make sure you're switching things up. Tip number nine, calisthenics. Calisthenics in my opinion is one of the best ways to build strength and it also gives you crazy definition. So do your push-ups, do your dips, they work. Tip number 10, do not do decline bench pressing. In my opinion, it does nothing. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Do your research. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. Leave this video a thumbs up. And I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.